much you supermodels love cartoonists, but I promise to another. <clears throat> Yahoo! Hello! Time to get up. Very important day. Wakey, wakey. Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. <laughs> Why did you do that? You did that because it's trash night. Hardly. Uh, it's some sort of holiday. It's... Oh, no! That's today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll have them in a jiff. Your birthday lasagnas are ready! <laughs> oh, this is great, Garfield. I'm going to edit this into my lasagna home video montage. <laughs> I've been shortchanged. There, I've added the new footage. I have over six hours of video of Garfield eating lasagna. Well, it's not like he does anything else. <clears throat> Complaint. Is something wrong, Garfield? Recap demand. <laughs> What is it? I cooked you one lasagna for every year old you are. <gasps> I'm one short? I'm one short? <laughs> and I don't have the ingredients to make another birthday lasagna. Uh, I'm going to the market. I'll be right back. <laughs> Well, he's gone, I'm gonna put the time to good use. I'm gonna do something constructive. Zord, Nix, until we reach the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. Good. Did you send for Ricotta? Here he is, Exalted Leader. Ricotta, I have a mission of vital importance for you. I am to lead the attack on the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. No. This is more important. Let me show you. Our scanners have taken thousands of images of the invasion planet, and we see nothing that can possibly prevent us from invading and making its people our slaves, except possibly for this. Who are those people? We do not know. Apparently, they are from a planet that is a neighbor to ours. They obviously travel to the planet we intend to invade. What happened to them? The spy images do not show that. We need to know what we are facing. I believe I know that person. I could be wrong, but I think that is my Uncle Lamosi. Go ahead to the invasion planet. Go to where that orange creature is and find out what happened to those people. Take this. It will measure the brain power of those you encounter. Right away, exalted leader. This is a record. I am on my way to scout the invasion planet. I will report the back. Agent Record of reporting. I'm on the invasion planet. As all, I will. <laughs> Ah! 
Measuring the brain power of a local creature I encounter. Brain measure is uh, zero. I will seek out the orange creature. Located the orange creature. It appears to be in a state of deep suspended animation. This has the carbuckles back. It's a comet. I must hide. Oh, hope he has my last lasagna ready. Ah, oh, there it is. Did you hear something? Whoa. Did you? That is, what was the? Did you see my lasagna run past this way? Uh -uh. What it did? My lasagna had legs, and then it ran, and it talked, and then it asked me if it was, and then it had like a mouth, and it was talking, and it went like, it ran. You believe me, don't you, Odie? Uh -uh. Well, that's okay. I don't believe me either. You are satisfied that the orange mm -hmm. creature will be no threat? I am. I do not know what he did to vanquish the people in those images, but I know I was able to handle him. Mm -hmm. Then the invasion shall commence. All these years, and I didn't know lasagna could talk. Why didn't it say something? What if it isn't just lasagna? What if ravioli can talk? What if cannoli tries to beat me up and the garlic bread? I'll starve. Hold on, boy. I can't understand you. Please note, Odie is less articulate than baked lasagna. What is it? Something out there? They're coming for me. I've got to hide. That creature sees him. If I had an ounce of courage, I'd go out there and save my friend Odie. Good thing for me, I don't have an ounce of courage. Fine work, Ricotta. Now we just need to neutralize that orange creature. You say he will be easy to defeat. Very easy, exalted leader. Just as soon as we find him. He's here somewhere. <coughs> we will find that orange creature and we will destroy him. What did I ever do to lasagna? Besides eating thousands of them. There is no sign of the orange creature in here. Let's check all the closets. Did you notice something? Ricotta, I heard. Is something wrong? This is silly. I can't just hide in here for the rest of my life. Yes, I can. No, I can't. John? Odie? Talking lasagna? No. Odie! 
It's me they want. Might as well get it over with. The humanity! Sounds like they're in John's room. I thought you said it would be easy to defeat Ricotta. I thought it would be. Guys, <laughs> it's time to end this. Wow, I don't know what happened, but I'm sure glad they're gone. <laughs> yeah, but you never know what happened. They were dangerous and scary and destructive. But boy, they sure look delicious. Garfield, I'm back! I knew you wouldn't want to wait until I cooked it, so I stopped off at Vito's and got you that extra birthday lasagna. Oh, no, no, take it away. It might talk to me. It might, it might. Gee, I always thought Vito was a pretty good cook. <laughs> Weeping Willow! Take him more! We have to take a break. We'll return with more of your favorite game shows. Say a kind of free and we oh, you with a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> John always did have a taste for the really serious intellectual programming. <laughs> We'll be back with more of Say a Kind of Free and We Hit You with a Lemon Ring Pie after these news headlines. Today is the first day of the city's new dog licensing law. Any dog not wearing a license will be presumed a stray and taken to the dog pound. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I got Odie a license and I have to put it on him. In other news, traffic is stalled on the Coast Highway due to an accident. Workers said cars were blocked when a collision knocked down a large elm tree. <laughs> I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. If they catch you without it, they'll haul you off to the pound. Oh, that would be just awful. No, even I'm not that rotten. There. Now, I'm going back to my favorite show, Say a Kind of Tree and we'll hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Just in a sense of good taste. No. <laughs> Hope I'm not missing much. Oh, I gotta get down here where I can just get some. Oh, that feels good. No, I don't want to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the ball. In fact, I want to throw the ball even less than I wanted to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the doggy toy. As hard as it may be to believe, I want to throw the doggy toy even less than I wanted to throw the stick or the ball. But you know what I do want to throw? You had to ask. Odie's oh, license came off. He's out there where they grab dogs that don't have licenses and take them to the pound. Not my problem. There's another one. No license. You won't get away from me, dog. Watch it! 
Sorry, Pooch, but it's the law. Oh. <sighs> I'm not asleep. Why can't I sleep? It can't be because I feel guilty about Odie out there without his dog license. It's not my fault it fell off when I threw him out the window. So why can't I sleep? Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well eat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so oh, oh, This is good. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, can't get my breath. <laughs> Mushroom omelet. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fazblatt. I checked with the judges, and they say mushroom omelet is not the name of a tree, so we cannot hit you with a lemon meringue pie. But now it's time for our home game, where one lucky viewer will get to play Say a Kind of Tree and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Home game? You mean someone will be hit with a lemon meringue pie just for saying, oh, I don't know, spruce? I'll get it. Uh, yes? Oh, great. You finally won something and it's that. I'll get dinner on the table. You call Odie. Oh, Odie. Well, no Odie, let's eat. Oh, where's Odie? I'm not serving dinner until Odie is at the table. But that's not fair. I'm here. I'm hungry. I'm... I'm serious, Garfield. No dinner until Odie is at the table. And now go out and find him. But I'm... I'm... I'm going to find him. Odie, Odie, yahoo, Odie, Odie, Odie. Attention, brainless mutt. If you're looking for your dog, I saw him get taken off to the pound. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Well, this is it. I'm actually walking into a building full of dogs. Voluntarily. Sorry, cat. You see that sign? That means no cats allowed. Lucky, Mom. Someone threw away a perfectly <laughs> they probably thought he was too fat. <clears throat> hey, you're not exactly supermodel material yourself, lady. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to resort to this, but it may be the only way to get this license back on Odie. Okay, let's see if I can pass for a dog. <laughs> arf, arf, woof, woof. Nah, I don't look stupid enough. Man, how do dogs do this stupid stuff all day? Oh, wow. Arf, yip, 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 yip. Bark, yip, bark. Isn't it a little late to be going out looking for strays? I need one more catch to make my quota for today, Pete. Ahem. <clears throat> bark, bark. Stray dog with no license. Woof and double woof. <laughs> got gotcha. you! got me. Okay, doggy. In here with ya. Huh? <laughs> Your situation is not hopeless, Odie. Huh? By day, he looks like an ordinary, brainless, too dumb to do anything useful dog. But then, when there's trouble, he instantly transforms himself into Super Garfield, 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 Garfield. Whoa, hey, stop. Put that tongue back where you found it. No, stop. Stop or I'll leave you here, Odie. Better. Now then, you'll need this to get out. How will I get out? Leave it to me. First, you make some noise. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, what's all the racket? What's... Hey, he has a license on. Let me get a better look at that. Sean Arbuckle. And there's an address. I was sure you didn't have one when I picked you up. <sighs> I better get you back to Mr. Arbuckle right away and apologize. Let me out. I shouldn't be in here. Hello? <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. See you later, Zal. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. A cat? How did a cat get in here? You shouldn't be in here, cat. True. Open the door and let me out. I'm gonna open the door and let you out. Just as soon as Al gets back. <laughs> he has the only key. Man, you can't leave me here like some... some dog. I'm not a dog. Dogs are ugly. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> Stupid, worthless creatures. Dogs are idiots. <laughs> Dogs are all over the place. They're all around me. They're, they're, I, I didn't mean what I said. I was talking about other dogs. You know, I, uh, I love dogs. In fact, I am a dog. See? A uh, dog. Bow oh, wow. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You're not buying this for a second, are you? Look, I'd like to take this opportunity to make a sincere apology. I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for bringing my dog home. So that's where you were, Odie. Which brings us to the next question. Where's Garfield? <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he's probably out somewhere having a wonderful time. Help! 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 Oh. <laughs> Dinner's just about ready, Garfield. It's lasagna. Wow, lasagna. I haven't had any of that since, uh... Uh, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. <laughs> don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got him messy, you clean it. <laughs> <laughs> He better be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. Pookie's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. Oh, he's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. Back. 
on the clothesline. I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. Come on, Oatster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone. Pookie's gone. Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe this button that says cuddle. Hey, let me go. Let me go. Ouch. What are you doing? Hey, one of these commands has got to be uncuddled. This one says stop. Oh, wow. Pookie never did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? <gasps> that, that, that Pookie napper. That mutt took my best friend. Okay, one of my best friends. And I'm gonna get him back. You! That's, that's my pookie, pookie you've got, got there. there. I, I demand that you return him. I demand that you stay out of my yard. Pookie is mine now. Mine! If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> This is called Fishing for Pookie. I got a bite. Not a reeler in. Feels like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. 
Okay, all right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. I'm gonna find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. <gasps> Let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you. You heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh -huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. I thought it might be somebody. Just thought you'd like to know, I'm being entered in the big pet show contest. Not particularly. Well, don't be jealous, Garfield. It's not your fault that I'm adorable and you're not. You don't even know any tricks. Sure I know a trick. Want to see a trick? It's called the hurl the obnoxious kitten out of the yard and have him land in the trash dumpster trick. Don't I do it well? All right, Garfield. Just for that, I'm not sharing the lasagna with you. Lasagna? What lasagna? Where's lasagna? First prize in the pet show is 100 pounds of Vito's lasagna. A whole three-day supply of Vito's lasagna? Where do I sign up? <laughs> no chance, Garfield. You're not cute enough to even be entered into the pet show. All the judges will just laugh at you. 
Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> Boy, do I hate it when Nermal's right. <sighs> Didn't make it, Garfield? I'm sorry. I guess the judges and I are even. I don't think they're so cute either. It's okay, Odie. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm sorry we had to reject your cat, but he's just so uncute. Well, you're no Miss Supermodel yourself, fella. <gasps> is that your dog? Sure, his name is Odie. This is the cutest dog I've seen in 20 years of judging pet shows. You must enter him in the contest. Do it, Oatster. I'll be your manager, and if you win, we'll split the prize. <gasps> really? Really. <laughs> Note, I did not say equally. My dog seems to want to be in the contest. Excellent. I'll go fill out the paperwork. That means we have 83 contestants. 83 contestants? Whew. How's Odie going to win all that lasagna for me against 82 other contestants? I'd have to do something to kind of narrow the odds a bit. Hey, Garfield. Soon as I heard first prize was lasagna, I knew you'd be in this contest. Not me. Not for that lasagna. I thought you loved Vito's lasagna. Not anymore. Not since Vito started making it healthy. Healthy lasagna? Ain't that a contradiction? Yeah, makes it out of soy and tofu, and then he throws in some tofu and soy. Ugh, sounds awful. It's lasagna I won't eat. That ought to tell you plenty. I'm gonna go to the other pet show on the east side of town. They have real delicious lasagna is the price. Hey, if that's where the great prize is, that's where I'm going. <sighs> One down, 81 to go. Really? On the east side of town? Would I mislead you? <laughs> oh, well, you always know where the good lasagna is, Garfield. Always. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We seem to have lost most of our contestants. Gee, I wonder where they all went. We only have two. Odie the dog. <laughs> and Normal the cat. Normal. That's the one I missed. <laughs> Our two contestants will compete in several events to determine the winner, starting with the cuteness competition. I know you're rooting for Odie Garfield, but there's no way anyone's going to beat Normal in the cuteness competition. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. First, the judges will score Odie with regard to cuteness. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. I love a good intellectual competition. Well, let's see how the judges have scored Odie. Huh. Odie gets an 8, a 9, and a 10 for a total of 27 points. And now we'll test the cuteness of Nermal. And now we'll put cotton into Odie's ears. <laughs> Here's where I take an early lead. I do cute better than anybody. Whoa. Uh -huh. Observe what happens when you rub claws on the average blackboard. <laughs> and in the cuteness competition, the judges give Normal a one, a zero, and a minus three. I can't believe it. You're almost as uncute as that fat orange cat that applied earlier. <laughs> In any case, Odie has won the first event. The lasagna prize will be mine. Well, mine and Odie's, but mostly mine. We can't possibly lose. 
The next event will be based on intelligence. Boy, can we lose. The object of this competition is to find two matching items in the pile. Oh, my. Normal will go first. On your mark, get set, go! Ah. Yay! And Normal finds one slipper, and then it's match in seven seconds. Ah. Ha. Let's see you top that, dog. Ah. All right, boy. Go select an item from the pile. A slipper. Okay. Now go pick another slipper out of the pile. No, that's a baseball mitt. We need a slipper. Uh -uh. No, that's a flashlight. Get a slipper. No, that's an 8 by 10 glossy of Elvis Presley. We need a slipper. Uh -uh. A slipper. No, that would be the Klopman diamond. I'm sorry, Odie has brought you every item in the building except the matching slipper. Normal wins this event, tying the score. Odie, why can't you just bring me a slipper? Even you're not that stupid. Why can't you understand me? The contest will be settled by the final event, the obstacle course. Everyone, step outside. The pet who reaches the end of this obstacle course first will win the competition. And there's piping hot lasagna from the master Italian chef, Vito. Yeah! <laughs> Pets ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Finish line. Face it, Garfield. Odie's lost. I'm not giving up that lasagna without a fight. <laughs> and Normal's heading for the finish line. Looks like this one is just about over, folks. One more photo, <laughs> Normal. <laughs> My public. What's this? Normal stopped just short of the finish line for a photo op. Just one more. Uh, now smile this way. One more photo, Normal. Uh, now you're good sight. Now you're under good sight. And now what's happening? Odie has come from behind and is heading for the finish line. And Odie's the winner! Hey! What's everybody cheering about? I didn't win yet. And it looks like it's going to stay that way. <gasps> Hey, nice job, Odie. You're a champion. <laughs> Enjoy your lasagna prize, fellas. Oh, and Garfield, Odie won the contest, so divide it up fairly. <gasps> Did you think I wouldn't? Did you think I would cheat someone out of their fair share of lasagna? Odie gets a piece and I get a piece. What could be fairer than that? <laughs> Here's your one piece. And here's my one piece. I won't eat it all now. I'll eat some now and some in eight minutes. Nothing will prevent me from enjoying this. <laughs> there was no pet show on the east side of town. What? No pet show on the east side of town? Boy, uh, we did like get my paws on that evil liar who told me that. Yeah, we walked all the way over there and back, and now we're hungry. What do you have to say to that? Care for some lasagna? Thanks. I thought you'd never offer. <laughs> Oh, my God.